Hey guys, I wanted to do a video real quick to say thank you uh, very much to uh, 43 Alley for recommending my page uh, on his latest video. And uh, that means a lot, and I'll be doing a video uh, to kind of explain the introduction of who Word of Fakes is, what I do. But I want to say thank you again uh, to 43 Alley and thank you to all my subscribers. I don't do this for, I, I hear you can make money on YouTube for making videos. I can't because I take images off of Google, um, which I don't even care about. I, I, I hear it's like $5, <laughs> you know, a year. So it's just, uh, I honestly, I do this for, um, to help people who are caught up in religion like I was for 20 years. And uh, even when I finally one day learned how to do better videos and, can pick up on the production, you know, get a little more animated or uh, have a little more moving parts to my videos, if you will. Uh, even if it costs me money, it's going to be a pleasure after spending thousands and thousands of dollars giving them to the church, giving it to the church. It's going to be a pleasure to make videos, um, you know, fighting back against that. Anyway, I've got to do, uh, I don't like to leave you without any information, so I want to just say thank you, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up an old article and share some information with you about uh, rich preachers and their money. Uh, again, this is an old article, and uh, basically uh, old news, but I pulled out my book and found it, so when I did all my research, or was continuing to do, I continue to do research, but... Uh, the father has since retired, uh, but here we go. I'll pull out the article, and we'll just run through it the best I can. I'm kind of winging it. but The Cleveland, Ohio newspaper back in 2008 uh, broke a story about a preacher that got paid two full-time salaries for two different charitable organizations. His uh, 2008 compensation was 535000 uh, for one of the charities, and he also got 669000 from the other charity. He claims that the $1.2 million annual salary really goes to his retirement, and that for the first few years he never got a retirement pension, so really what they're doing is playing catch-up. Now, after the story broke and everything kind of looked bad, they readjusted his salaries for both charities, and he now makes, you know, it's it's a meager, you know, sacrifice on his part of, you know, he only makes a half a million dollars a year for the two charities. But if you if you add up the uh, one point two million dollar salary annual salary, um, it basically works out to be a hundred thousand dollars a month. A hundred thousand dollars a month to do charitable work for God and save people from hell and eternity forever. How much of that money could have went to save uh, little dying children, sick children, uh, starving children? I, I don't get it. How, how much of that could have went to give them? good clean drinking water, perhaps digging wells for whole entire villages. Anyway, here's the funny part. According to Forbes magazine, uh, his father also is a preacher. And his father, uh, is he's recently retired, but before he retired, his pension was $451,000 excuse me, $451,707 per year. Now, to be honest with you, I didn't do enough research to see if that was what his retirement pension is, but uh, Forbes magazine did say that that's what his pay was. Um, so I'm assuming that was his pay when he was active duty, if you will. Could be his retirement pension, I don't know. But that averages out to $37,642 per month. How many single moms make that all year? How many teachers or elderly or firefighters or, you know, whatever, cops or how many people aren't making that kind of money each year? How many are struggling 
aren't making anything and living on the streets with kids. And this guy, the father, is making $37,642 per month or $451,707 per year to do the Lord's work. Now, when I make these videos about greed and the money that these preachers take in, I'm accused of being jealous or mad that they have stuff when all I'm trying to do is prove a point that they waste money on themselves. They tell people that are suffering or scared or hurt or going through a tragedy, send money to me so we can save the sick or save those little kids in Africa. And uh, meanwhile, instead of buying them shoes so they can go dumpster diving or, or go walking through slop and filth looking for food, instead of buying them shoes and toothpaste and clothes and a Bible to save them from this eternal hell, what they decide to do is go buy a nice house, a car, they make sure all their ducks are in a row, all their bills are paid, there's money in the bank, they invest a little, they got their retirement pension, and then they decide to help. Now who is this dynamic duo? Father and son team? Well, it could be, there was this guy, Bishop Eddie Long, he, he got busted a while back for, um, he lives kind of a fancy lifestyle, drives a Bentley, but he got busted for, apparently four uh, older teens accused him of um, persuading the boys to give him oral sex. You see, he would fly him to Africa or different places where he would preach, and they would stay in the same hotel room for some reason, I guess to save money, I don't know, maybe that's what it was. But they would stay in the same hotel room, and he would light candles and talk to them and persuade them into giving him oral sex. Now, this is allegedly, and it's only by four guys, so really, you know, who knows. Uh, and he does kind of act kind of weird sometimes, but that's neither here nor there. Could be Kenneth Copeland. Kenneth Copeland's got a whole family all riding his coattails and, you know, making money in the ministry. He got busted for taking his $20 million jet to hunting retreats and ski lodges and he insisted that he paid all that money back. You know, he's like, hey, let me tell you something. I pay all that money back. If it's six, seven, eight thousand dollars in jet fuel, I pay it for it myself out of my pocket. Never mind the fact that he's got a $20 million jet on hand uh, to go do things. And when the news broke the story, see, he promised he'd never use it for personal use. But And uh, even Gloria Copeland was accused of taking it to Naples, Florida to go shopping. But anyway... It's not Kenneth Copeland. Could be Jesse Duplantis. He's he's got a lot of money. Uh, he's matter of fact, he just wrapped up building a thirty-five thousand square foot home. And yeah, those are those little things in front of the house are cars and and trucks working on the house. So he just got done wrapping up his thirty-five thousand square foot, not thirty-five hundred, thirty-five thousand square foot mansion. But see, he's just got a daughter, so it's just a him and his daughter, so and his wife. Could be Creflo Dollar. Creflo's got a pretty nice house and lives a pretty good lifestyle. Got a nice family. Maybe it's him and his son, but I know he's got a daughter because he got accused of uh, punching her in the face and uh, grabbing her by the throat, throwing her down on the ground. Now, he denies doing that. He says that those marks on the throat were pre-existing and that he never hit her with a closed fist. But it's not Creflo Dollar. Truth is, it's it's not Kenneth Copeland, um, it's not uh, Jesse Duplantis, it's not uh, Creflo Dollar, and it's not Eddie Long, the ass clown. Um, the truth is that the, the dynamic duo, the father and son team, that are humble, uh, that aren't part of the prosperity gospel, believe it or not, and that are beloved by everybody, everybody in the Christian world, pretty much loves them. But they seem to think it's okay, uh, this father and son team, they seem to think it's okay to live rich now and to live a prosperous life now. Uh, and guess who they are? Okay, here we go. The father and son team are Franklin and Billy Graham. That's right. That guy makes one point, or was making $1.2 a year to help God out and help his daddy out, who was making almost a half million a year. Meanwhile... Children like this are suffering and dying. All they need is a dollar a day. All they need is uh, some medicine. Uh, you know, moms, everybody. There, there's tragedy happening everywhere. And these guys are going around uh, living in nice houses, driving nice cars, eating the best of food, 
why children starve. And they're proud to say, I'm helping Jesus. Send us your money. We're going to help Jesus out. They take the money and say they're going to help poor little children. And then they turn around and uh, set up a, a big fat retirement pension plan. And already live a, a lavish lifestyle while they're doing the ministry. They don't have to worry about bills or car payments or house payments or any of that stuff. But their utilities are paid. They get a credit card to spend on leisure. They have private jets. They do all this fun stuff. And then they have a huge retirement. And it's all paid for on the backs of Christians who think they're helping because they feel good. They're making them feel good, so they send them money thinking they're going to help somebody else feel good and save people from an eternity in hell. And they turn around and spend most of it on themselves. And then I get accused of saying I'm jealous. I'm not jealous of money. I say make it and spend it and you know try and help others. But I'm not jealous of money. I'm not. I don't like people ripping other people off in this religion, in the name of religion. That's all. Anyway... I'm going to close out with uh, saying thank you uh, again to you guys. I also want to thank uh, Fishhead Salad, YouTuber Fishhead Salad, for reaching out to me, uh, giving me some support on uh, trying to clean up my uh, YouTube page. I've been out of this a little while, and I'm going to get back into it. I've been reinvigorated, I guess, by 43 Alley recommending me, and I'm going to kick up my series on... Uh, corrupt preachers and I've got a several different series all kinds of new ideas it's just finding the time to do it I live in a Christian home so it's hard to put these videos together um, with them around but anyway I just want to say thank you to all all the people who subscribed and uh, stay tuned